in many questions they ask you to write down the exact matrix that will transform a triangle into another one and it's quite difficult to memorize the matrix for all the transformations so at first we will see how to find the matrix that will convert a triangle into another one by a 90 degree clockwise rotation so suppose this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis we will consider an unit coordinate for x so 1 0 so this is your initial point after rotating this point clockwise 90 degree this will come here so that's 0 minus 1 so the initial point was your object and the final point is your image similarly we will take a unit coordinate at y-axis so the, the y coordinate is 1 and the x coordinate is 0 so after rotating this point clockwise direction 90 degree we will have another point that's 1 0 so this is your final point image and it was your object so by combining both the coordinates of the image we will get the matrix so 0 minus 1 1 0 we will follow the same procedure for 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation so this is your x-axis this is your y-axis the unit coordinate on x-axis that is 1 0 so after rotating the point 90 degree anti-clockwise we will have our image at 0 1 similarly unit coordinate at y-axis 0 1 so after rotating this coordinate 90 degree anti-clockwise we will find another point at minus 1 0 so this is your image so the matrix will be 0 1 minus 1 0 so for 180 degree rotation the coordinate 1 0 will move 90 90 so total 180 so the image will be minus 1 0 you can also move in an anti-clockwise direction the image will be same so the coordinate 1 0 sorry 0 1 will move 90 90 so the image will be 0 minus 1 therefore the matrix will be a combination of both the image coordinate so minus 1 0 0 minus 1 so for reflection in x-axis the point 1 0 will not move because line of reflection is the x-axis and the point lies on it whenever a point lies on the line of reflection the object doesn't change so object and image both the coordinate is 1 0 but 0 1 if we reflect this coordinate at x-axis it will move here that is 0 minus 1 this is your image so 1 0 0 minus 1 for reflection in y-axis the point 1 0 will move in the opposite quadrant that is minus 1 0 but the point 0 1 will lie on the same position so this is your final image this is your final image so the matrix will be minus 1 0 0 1 okay so for reflection in y equals to x axis at first we need to draw the line y equals to x so if this is your y equals to x line if we reflect this point then the image will be in opposite side of the line that is here so 0 1 and this point will move here so 1 0 so this is your image this is your image so the matrix will be 0 1 1 0 similarly y equals to minus x line so this point if we reflect 1 0 along this line the image will be formed on opposite side of the line that is 0 minus 1 
so 0 1 if we reflect will be here so 0 minus 1 sorry minus 1 0 so the image is 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 next comes enlargement with scale factor k so the identity element uh, identity matrix is 1 1 that is diagonally it has to be 1 and the remaining digits are 0 so this is your identity element all you have to do is multiply the scale factor with the identity element for example if the scale factor is 2 the matrix will be 2002 0, 0, 2. if the uh, scale factor is 3 it will be 3003 0, 0, 3. so if in general the scale factor is k the matrix will be k 0 0 k so these rules are applicable only if the center of enlargement and rotation is 0 0 0 origin if the center is not 0 0 then these rules will not be applicable well for enlargement this matrix is applicable only if the center of enlargement is 0 0 that is the center has to be the origin similarly for rotations to the center has to be the origin so this is how you can find the matrix that will transfer a triangle into another one at first you you just need to identify which transformation has occurred and then according to that you can find out the matrix